that she loves sells sushi. The only paisley that she owns is on a Gucci bag. The only cords that she rocks is my cool lord. She gon' need some help. Time to open up the Bible. Ain't no need to be all afraid now, honey. I'm gon' show you how we do, how we do out in the country. I'm gon' bring you back to life. Take you on a Sunday drive in your white Rover. Get some mud all over them tires. Sipping moonshine, reminiscing about them good old days, baby. This is how we do in the country. In the country. You see, four by four, it ain't sixteen. It's just the way of life. Freezing your butt off in a duck blind, ripping lip out on the lake. That's speaking my language. I know aliens exist, but this is how we out here living in the country. Gonna bring you back to life. Take you on a Sunday drive in your white Rover. Get some mud all over them tires. Sipping moonshine, reminiscing about them. You're living right, yeah. Just move, move, 'cause this is how we do it in the country. Gonna bring you back to life, take you on a Sunday drive in your white Rover. Get some mud all over them tires, sipping moonshine, reminiscing about them good old days, baby. This is how we do it in the country. Dime qué es lo que esperas. Dime qué quieres ver. Dime qué es lo que juegas. Porque vas a perder. Dime qué es lo que intentas. Soy más fuerte que ayer. Ningún reto me asusta. Aquí vas a perder. Got the parts. Today's the day. We got a head gasket kit, head bolts, spark plugs. To be a tensioner in here somewhere. Woo! We're doing this today. Oh, close. See you at the garage. Okay, now we're back home. Get the parts, and here are all the parts involved in this job. So many parts, huh? 
Alright. First, breakfast. We got a slight problem. I opened it. And... There's only one spark plug in this thing. Simply, how will you know? You're not gonna think it. I haven't even, even opened this. Yeah. No, I think um, they have the other three at, at a, you know, at parts. This is our special order parts. I don't know what else is there. Uh, We're going there now? Oh. No, it, it's fine. I can't. Okay, now we're back. So first things first, put back the uh, dowel pin, the dowel pin or the alignment pin, located here and here. And then what we're gonna do is clean up the uh, holes where the head bolts go because if there's oil in there, guess what? It's not gonna torque right. The head bolts are not gonna be torquing right. And that's a common step that's being missed by most technicians. See that there's there's oil in there. This hole. We're talking about this hole right here. So if there's oil in there or liquid, it's gonna get compressed when you're torquing your head bolt, and your head bolt will be under spec because it could not go all the way in. Give you one example, okay? Here comes one. One. Then. That's not what I wanted. Uh, made a mess. That's not what I wanted. Uh, it exploded. Okay, new head gasket, OEM, hopefully it lasts uh, another 150,000 miles before it blows up, that's the worn part, so maybe let's do compression here. So this one here, worn, 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 and this, this is a new one, the black stuff is still there, that's because the coolant gets in here, and it's just worn out. Double pin. Ay, hindi ko alam dad kung nag nag play ba to? Nag play ba yun? Mm -hmm. You only got 7 seconds. Uh, I don't know if that's it. It's no, not in, it's not in. Go more, go more forward. Okay, it should be in this area. Just go like... Oh. Okay, so. My side is not in. It's not even close to where it looks like it's supposed to be.
So my son's doing the head bolt tightening and this old head gasket is gonna go to the head gasket wall of shame where all the other head gasket fails head gaskets these are the head gaskets uh, I kept in the past from the past see that another warm firing ring this one is an obvious misfire on both cylinders because the middle gasket broke and then I think this one's an Acura Integra and the other one's a Honda Civic from previews and many more but most of them I throw away Yeah, it's so guys. Most of the parts are already in. We didn't even film most of it. We got uh, it takes takes a long time to prep everything, clean it up. You know, clean up the old gasket, put a new gasket. This and that. Got plenty more to go. Mm, we're now on the Almost final step on this head gasket replacement on a Honda Accord 2018 Turbo. As you guys can see, this is a lot, a lot of time has been used with the removal, disassembly, preparation, and everything else. Uh, hopefully, it will run good after. What's up, peeps? Let's go look outside. It's a nice sunny day today. Let's see. We got um, a few more parts to put in. Most of what's there is already installed. This is about day seven. Day seven of the head gasket replacement. On this slow accord, actually this one's fast accord, it's the Tarbo. So this is the progress. We we stayed up, like me and my son stayed up late last night until eleven o'clock until we can't wrench no more. So the plan today is to wrap it up and hopefully get her to fire up today. Today's Thanksgiving day. Yeah, I just gotta double check what we did last night. Cause sometimes when you're tired, you forget stuff. You know what I mean? Well, stay tuned. I think we're gonna get this car fired up today. Alright, guys. So we're now installing or buttoning up the turbo. To the manifold turbo. So we just so we just finished uh, putting in the turbo. Now we're putting oil. Um, that is not a zero forty. That's just a container. Putting oil, putting oil. So I got sucker piece on that. Uh oh, we're finishing up. <laughs> we're filling this thing up with cooler. Here on the intake now, intake tubing towards the turbo. Okay, now everything is back up. We did the final checks. The uh, reservoir is there, or expansion tank is already there. All the wires are plugged in. Turbo is plugged in. All the nuts and bolts. We did not miss any nuts and bolts. 
and uh, this one is just a cover for the uh, high pressure pump fuel pump but i want to double check and make sure it's not leaking before i seal it up and now we're watching scan data here how do i do uh all right now this car is back up and running yeah some backup. Almost ran out of coolant here. So basically just checking for leaks now. But it looks like it's stable. I don't see any shaking. My son said it's shaking. It's not shaking. And just watching at the scan data here. All those other lights will be on because it's typical for this newer cars, you gotta drive it. The uh, fuel pressure is looking good so most likely there's no leak. And now I'm just watching the engine coolant temperature number one. Just want to make sure that um, the fan comes on, etc. But I think this car is uh, fixed. And <laughs> we'll find out later on during the test drive but uh, mainly trying to make the fan come on stay tuned guys okay the car is running good i think so this is our test drive got yeah, you guys a shot of pacifica here and yeah just uh, test driving and make sure to double check later if there's gonna be any leaks so we can correct it before we give it to our relative all the lights are off the lights are now off uh, typical on this car so after you drive it should turn off if it doesn't turn off something's wrong but i have the scan tool hooked up but just making sure it's not misfiring or anything and so it should be good no problems yet and hopefully it stays that way.